guys, today we are going to go set up for the Fargo big one. It's being held at the Fargo Dome in Fargo, North Dakota, which is right across the river from where I live. I'm super excited about this one because this will be my third year doing it, but I'm also nervous because I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. I got all the apparel done that I wanted to, but all the other stuff, not really. I was really hoping I'd get more done. We take what we can get. So let's go and set up. We just got here, well, okay, like 15 minutes ago, but we were unloading the trailer and the car. And while I was moving that, Maddie set up, also I have Maddie here with me, uh, she's walking to the bathroom, but she set up all of the clothing racks. I'm about to crack a bubbler and we're gonna get going. I also forgot my tables at home. Live that, love that for me, but Cole's gonna bring them in about an hour. That's when he can. So at least I got that. I'm gonna set up as much as I can until he gets here with the table. So Maddie and I just finished setting up and I feel like the boots got smaller because I brought the same as last year, maybe like like clothing wise more, but everything else is pretty much the same as last year. And I feel like it's just not all fitting into the booth like it used to. But here's what we're working with. It's just gonna have to work because there's not really much else I can do. Right here we have one of the C racks with some crewnecks on it. And then I put my crochet flowers right here and I plan to print off or grab the sign. I think I left it at home and put that uh, right here so people know pricing and everything. And then we have our checkout stand as usual on the left side. And I have, this was one of my very first banners I ever got for my business. And it's just, it's nice to have two old banners that are big ones for indoor shows. And I do rent the curtains. They're about, I wanna say like $30 to rent for the show, which is not bad because I liked using my tents, but I just feel like this looks a little bit better. We have the lights so that it's not as dark, but I'm glad I kept these and didn't throw them. And then we have my stickers and more of the apparel right there. On the other side, we have our sun catchers and air fresheners, of course. And then I did end up making a few mirrors, four of them. I ended up just taking the mirror kits that I have and 
took them out of inventory and just made mirrors out of them. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier this week. There will be mirrors there. They're just curing right now. And then I have the bags here. Mystery crewnecks are, um, these are online. They're the mystery assorted puff flowers, but assorted puff flowers, the car buddies. I love these so much. And this is all my inventory that I have. So hopefully I can maybe make some tonight. We have my second banner I've ever gotten for my business up top here. Ah! I just have one shirt hanging out. We're, we're, we're working with what we got. Then we have the mystery tees right next to the uh, car buddies. Then to the right, we have another bag right here, as well as our car charms. I only have one pink one left, so maybe I can make another one or two tonight just to have a couple more. And then another mirror will go here tomorrow. And then embroidery hoops that my sister Michaela does. These are also on my shop if you guys want to shop them. One hanging plant and tote bags. Last but not least, we have more apparel. This is what the booth looks like. I think it looks pretty good. It's not bad. It could be worse and it has been worse. Yeah, that's all I got. I'm going home. I'm exhausted. And I'm going to crochet on the couch for a bit. So I will just see you guys for day one. Good morning guys. Happy day one of the craft fair. So I was hoping to get here a little bit earlier this morning, but honestly, I have been so exhausted and I let myself sleep in a little bit longer because truly I I just needed it. So I'm getting here at 9.40. I was hoping to get here about 9.15, but that's not happening, obviously but I truly wouldn't regret anything. I did stop at the bank this morning and got some cash. I got a few snacks last night. Sorry, you probably couldn't see me there for a little bit, but Cassie is coming later today. She's gonna bring lunch. I'm so excited because we haven't done a craft fair together in what seems like forever. So I'm really excited to get to spend the day with her. But yeah, I feel like today is gonna be a good day. I brought yarn, obviously, to crochet with when I get bored. I did bring the mini pouches as well as the normal size crochet pouches as well. I'm just realizing I think I went the wrong way for the elevator. No, actually I think it's this way still. Okay, um, but it's a little bit chaos in the morning. But I don't have much to set up anyways. It's all pretty much done but I'll just see you guys at the booth. It's at 10 at 32 and we just made our first sale and it was for a white rose. Okay, it is at currently 10 34. I made my second sale and it was for the always tired crew neck. Here is what the shelving ended up looking like. I only got three of the mirrors done. I didn't get the one last night done, but that's okay. It looks good. Here is what the table also looks like and then the second shelf. Alrighty, here is my outfit for today. Just some black baggy jeans, one of the new boxy tees, and then my white Air Forces. It's 11.17 and I made my third sale and it was for the overstimulated crew neck. So I met a subscriber named Karen. Hi Karen, thank you so much for coming and seeing me. She did say that she wasn't sure she was gonna come up to me this weekend because how I say, I never know what to say whenever subscribers or followers like come up to me. I'm just always awkward. But I was like, I still want you to come up. Like, <laughs> but we had a really good conversation. We were just talking about business, craft shows, all that jazz. So Karen, I'm guessing you're watching this. Hi, it was so nice to meet you and you're so sweet. And I hope this weekend goes absolutely amazing for you. A little bit of an update. It's 11.40. I haven't gotten a sale since the last time I updated you guys, which is totally fine. I know Fridays are always slow. People are at work, typically. And I'm having a good time. I'm playing some Heyday on my iPad. I'm listening to some music. Cassie's gonna be on her way soon with some lunch. And I'm just ready to have a great day. And I'm just here to have fun. Alrighty, so I wanted to update you guys. It's currently 1.30 and it's completely dead. I haven't had a sale since the last time I updated you guys about getting a sale. But honestly, I'm just having a good time. And of course, Cassie is here. She brought lunch, she brought me Subway, and then she got Burger King for herself. And we've just been chit-chatting, 
catching up because because I haven't seen her since my wedding besides maybe one other time so it's been a while it's been a busy busy couple months I also dropped my camera and then to the lens so it took me five minutes just to be able to update you guys because I was hopefully bending back the lens that I kind of ruined this little pick but that just means I need to buy a new lens <laughs> love that for me but yeah that's the update for now I'll let you guys know if it starts picking back up or anything or if we're getting a sale during this slow time other than that I'll see you guys later. It's 2.10 and we have had two new sales. One of them was for three crochet flowers. I think it was the pink tulip, pink rose, and white rose. And then the second one was for an always tired tea. That is the update for now and I'll see you guys soon. It's currently 12.26. We had another sale and it was for a skeleton crew neck. And I actually recognized the customer because I remember them coming to see me at the Fargo Street Fair. And so I was like, oh, did you, I recognized you, like, did you come to see me at the Fargo Street Fair? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, amazing. I love returning customers that come and see me at any of the local events that I'm doing. After a lot of time, it's currently 3.50, we finally got a, another sale. And it was for the I'm Just Here to Have Fun pepper shirt which i'm so excited about but yeah it's still been really slow i mean i'm not really expecting it to pick up until like 5 5 30 but it's honestly been a good day it's been a chill day i've been needing a day like today where i can just kind of do nothing i guess you could say i've just been playing my game on my ipad and crocheting here and there and i also walked around for a bit and talked to um, some of my vendor friends and some of my new vendor friends which was really nice but yeah that is my update as of now and I will hopefully see you guys soon when it starts to pick up okay it is update time it is currently 523 and it's still a little bit slow but we have gotten I don't know three three lost order. <laughs> oh we have gotten three sales I think I know we just had like two recent ones, so it was for Always Tired Crew Neck and the Pepper, uh, I'm just here to have fun, and then the other one was the It Gets Better Crew Neck. But so far today we've had 12 transactions, and I can't remember exactly how much this booth was, I want to say 380-ish, but we made the booth be back, which is very, very nice but we are only halfway to our daily goal. And if you're new here, our daily goal is always to reach $1,000 every single day that we do the event. And right now we're halfway to it. But we have about two and a half hours left tonight. And then Cassie and I are gonna go get Chinese because that is our tradition, of course. We can never let it die, not even when we are in town. So that is the update for now, and I will see you guys hopefully, hopefully soon. Alrighty y'all, this will probably be the last update of the night because it is currently 7.50, we're done in 10 minutes, but we are so close to reaching our daily goal. We're only about $45 short, which is kind of sad, but I mean, at least we almost made it considering how slow it actually was and still is but for the day as of right now we've had a total of 20 transactions our top five best sellers for the day were in number five the outline it's okay black crew in number four the charcoal here to have fun tea and third it was the overstimulated crew neck in second was the it gets better crew neck and then coming in number one was the always tired crew neck that one is always a fan favorite. I did buy one thing today from a very cute elderly couple. I got a ring. Yeah. Okay, well this is the best I'm gonna be able to do, but it just says coal on it. Very cute, very simple. I just always wanted, what? I said very demure. De very demure. Uh, I just always wanted something, like I wanted another ring on this hand, but could never find the perfect one because I don't want it to be bulky. I like them very like thin small and I wanted something with either Coles and I's birthstone or just his name on it because I don't wear necklaces really so um, 
Arrain made more sense, and I absolutely love it. It's the best purchase I've made so far this week, probably. Once this is officially done, Cassie and I are gonna head to Chinese, because if you are new here, we always get Chinese food after the first day of a craft fair, no matter if we're away or home, you always have to get Chinese food. It's just a tradition that we've been doing for what now? Three years? I think it's been three years. So we just, we just keep the tradition going, of course. And I will more than likely just see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Happy day two of the craft fair. This morning I got up and I got here at about 8.40ish. It's currently 8.45. I just set my stuff down, got the iPad and card reader ready to go this morning. I'll show you guys my outfit of the day today. So I'm just wearing some flared leggings, my Air Forces, and the overstimulated crew neck. I'm going for comfy, cozy today because we will be packing up and putting everything into my trailer. And personally, I really don't want to wear jeans for that. Not at all. I'm probably going to sweat because of the sweatshirt, but again, I'd rather be comfy. But I hope today goes a lot better than yesterday. I feel like there's there will be more traffic than yesterday. Because typically Friday nights at this exact event is pretty packed, which I was surprised that it wasn't yesterday, but I still did pretty good in sales. I don't know, yesterday was just kind of weird, kind of crazy. So I'm hoping that the crowd is like, oh, I don't want to go Friday, Let, let's go Saturday. Saturday seems like a great day to go and shop. Also, I just want to say, someone commented on one of my craft fair videos, literally yesterday, it was like one of my old ones, and they were like, too much talking. Um, what do you expect, a lot of time lapses? I like the way I do my craft fair vlogs, so I'm just gonna keep going how I'm doing it and doing random updates here and there with nothing in between. But yeah, I am going to sit down in the chair and I'm going to check my coffee that I made at home as well as my protein bar. If you're ever looking for a very delicious protein bar, I highly recommend the Kind Breakfast Protein Dark Chocolate Cocoa. Um, it's it's so good and it's gluten free which I should be but I don't follow those guidelines or those rules but it's so good they're not hard they're actually like chewy which I personally like but they're not like super chewy if that makes sense and there's two bars in this little packet and it keeps me full until lunch it's a win-win deal so I highly recommend the kind bars I'm gonna go ahead and scarf this down while well, chugging my coffee and playing some heyday and and we will see how today goes. I will update you guys when hopefully we get our first sale of day two. It's 9.10, doors opened up at nine and we already got our first sale for today and it was for the It Gets Better crew net. 9.28 and we just had our second sale of the day. She got the purple tote bag with the strawberries on it and then a red rose as well as the always tired tea. Okay, so people always ask me in the comment section how I scan all my items with the barcodes. So I made a video a while ago talking about how you can make barcodes for your items and I'll link it down below in the description for you guys and put a card up here too. Uh, but so I have a barcode on this coaster and this is my POS system. It's Shopify's POS system. I just have everything in here. It's so nice, it keeps everything organized. And so what you do is that you go up here to the little barcode icon. You click that and it'll pop up this screen. And so you just take your little coaster, put it behind here and it will scan it and I'll pop up right there on the side. And that's pretty much just how you scan your barcodes. A little update for you guys. It's currently 10.30 and we are halfway to our daily goal. And we've also had eight total transactions so far. Today's going absolutely amazing for the first hour and a half and hopefully it just keeps building up more throughout the day. It's been a bit like steady slow if that makes sense like there's like a steady of people but it's slow there's not a whole lot of people walking around but 
it's going pretty good so far and I truly cannot complain. That's it for this update, so I will update you guys a little bit later. It's 11.37, you guys, and we are $60 away from hitting our daily goal and we are at 14 total transactions. But I just got done doing a transaction and this amazing girl spent $360. She got, literally, like that's the biggest one I've ever had yeah. at a craft show. Ever. And she got eight flowers, seven, seven sorry, yeah. seven flowers so she gets one free. She got the Bow Love Yourself crew neck, the It Gets Better crew neck, the um, uh, Heart of Gold crew neck. She got the Sun Catcher slash Air Freshener deal and then three packs of the sticker deal. <laughs> I am, I'm in like shock. <laughs> That's like, true. oh no, we hit our goal. It just updated, we hit our goal for the day, which is fabulous. And we still have about a little over five hours still to go for this. So I'm really excited, it's starting to pick up a bit. And I will update you guys soon. Okay guys, it's currently 3.20 and we've had a total of 39 transactions and we've doubled our daily goal. This will probably be my last update for today because we only have an hour and a half left and it's slowed down a lot. So I will just see you guys in the morning for a full overview of how this craft fair went. Good morning, you guys. Yesterday, it was a slow, consistent day, I, I guess you could say. It wasn't like overwhelming in any way, but there also wasn't a whole lot of traffic. It was just kind of steady traffic, if that makes sense, which kind of sucked. I usually do really well at this craft fair. I still did good. Do not get me wrong on that part. I still did really good. Yesterday, we doubled our daily goal, which is always very nice of hitting our goals and even doubling it, but it's just so hard to always compare to last year on how things went but just because one craft fair the year prior did super well does not mean that the following one is going to be the same if not better you never know how a event is going to go and it sucks but that's the reality of it you can't control how much people buy or how many people come out to an event last night when i got home from the craft fair i just brought everything inside i didn't put it away or anything because truly it's exhausting just sitting there <laughs> if i'm being completely honest it's just tiring in general because like i've said in the past you kind of have to be on if that makes sense i actually like listened to a podcast this morning about how when people are out at like an event or anything of that sorts and like it's so exhausting even when you don't do a whole lot it's just exhausting because you always have to be on you always have to be happy joyful like you can't be sad or mad or anything like that and it kind of made me feel seen because I feel like I was the only one that felt like I always had to be on and when I got home I felt like I should not have been tired or exhausted or anything but it was really nice to hear that on the podcast that I was listening to I can't really remember what it was but it was it just was very reassuring so if you ever feel like maybe you shouldn't be exhausted after doing maybe nothing at a craft show or not having a lot of interaction or whatever it may be please know that you are not alone in this and that it is exhausting no matter what you may be doing you're exhausted because you have to be on all the time but let's go over the analytics for the two day event and total sales we ended up making a little over three grand which is very very nice it's a good number to see of course hoping to always make more but again we met our daily goal which is always a plus it's always what i always strive for every single craft fair every single event is hitting that goal and i'm glad that we could do it with this one as well as making our booth money back our booth fee was a bit higher than i remember but looking back at my little planner with how much it was i always put it 
um, on like the days that it is I put how much it is and it was four hundred and sixty three dollars and fifty cents for the double booth that I had and I feel like last year this might have been around like 420 but I also rented curtains this year and I believe it's twenty dollars a spot so that's probably where the 40 came in and I honestly enjoyed having the curtains. I liked that a lot more than hauling my tent in, or my tents, I should say, because one, it still separates you from the people behind you, and two, you're still able to hang up any banners that you may have to showcase what your brand is, all that stuff for brand recognition. And three, I just felt like it made it a lot easier to set up and tear down as well as quicker. We ended up having 62 total transactions for the entire weekend. Our average order value was around $49. So pretty much like a Krennic or a t-shirt. And our top five best sellers for the weekend were in number five was the Trickle Here to Have Fun Tea, which is a new one that will be coming very, very soon to the website. In number four, it was the It Gets Better crew neck. In third was the Love Yourself Bow crew neck. And in second was the Always Tired crew neck. And coming in number one was the Overstimulated crew neck. Overall, it was a great weekend. It felt so good to be back in the swing of markets and preparing for them. We only have one market left for the year, which is so sad but i have to make some sacrifices when it comes to the business for coaching hockey because the girls just don't deserve me being gone every single weekend but i'm really excited for it it is next weekend so we are going to get in the groove of prepping yet again this week so be prepared for one and final market prep video of the year with me that's so sad to think i'm really hoping that this one is going to be a good one it was last year but just like this one you never know what's going to happen at an event all right i'm going to end this video here if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and I'll I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Oh.